Hey everybody, it's Jamie here and welcome to Travel Blog Jamie. More importantly, welcome to Piano's Iona. Coming up in today's episode, we'll find out how to book a table at the Epicurean, have a look at some of the menus on offer, beautiful food, pretty food, tasty food, the not so tasty food, theatrical food, things I've never tried before, and strangely enough, jacuzzi tubs. So this evening is a special one. It's our last night on board and we have booked to eat at the speciality dining restaurant that is the Epicurean. I am going to show you the venue, the menus, the costs, and of course we will review every single course. So let's go and eat. Before we get eating, please don't forget to give this video a cheeky little like, subscribe and turn on notifications for my bi-weekly cruise and travel vlogs. I do recommend a pre-dinner drink at the Crow's Nest, right next to the Epicurium. Oh look, it's a Matthew, are you coming to eat? Yes? No? no? Piano Ziona and Arvia, in fact, the Epicurean is located deck 17, forward and port side. And it literally is here, look, on the right. Menu B, I think. Yeah, we're waiting to find out whether we've got menu A or B. Either way, we're excited. All right, let's check in. You can reserve a table at the Epicurean by using your cruise personalizer approximately two weeks in advance of your cruise. Alternatively, book on board by using the My Holiday webpage or for that old fashioned experience, why not just give them a call? And in we go. Oh, it looks like we've got a table right next to the window. Beautiful. I'll be using this handy little chart to rate our plates. All right, so we've got some beautiful looking breads and what I'm most excited about is the Marmite butter. Oh yes. And we've also been given a bloody Virgin Mary. Why Virgin? Shove have some vodka in it. Just deciding on what bottle of wine to get. I like the sound of the complex and cultured. Apparently that's what I'm like. I mean, it's really nice that anyone would call me culture, doesn't it? Thinking, pensive, not sure what to have. Well, I don't know if you do a cheers with a, a Virgin Bloody Mary, but why not, eh? God, blimey, look at him neck that back. <laughs> nice? Yeah, refreshing. Mmm. That is refreshing, actually. Maybe I'd like actual Bloody Marys I've had one for years. Might try one on the next holiday. Alrighty, so I think we've got menu B. This is what is on offer for starters. And a peep at the main courses as well. Plus, of course, you've got your prime grills. Gosh, a lot of them. And your sides as well. I presume you can actually have one of each. Marmite butter. All right, you'd be disappointed if that didn't taste like Marmite, and it does. Nice and salty, rich, yeasty, yum. Oh look, they put the wine next to Matthew. That's a bad idea. You'll literally inhale it. Cheers, Matthew. Cheers. Happy days. A special evening. I just did the wine taste like you do, you know, pretended like I know what it was doing. Like. Oh yeah, so that was nice and cold. It's like a Sauvignon. Now that would be soup to start for you, followed by your Irish buffet like Coco Elden, yeah. a side of broccoli and chips. <coughs> Perfect. Right, thank, you so thank you very much. Right, Matthew has the celeriac soup with white truffle. Verdict? It's good. The white truffle is very subtle, so if you don't like truffle. If you didn't hear that, Matthew was just saying the white truffle is quite a subtle flavour, it's not too strong. Try some of Matthew's soup, of course. Mm. So the celeriac soup, rich, creamy, Moorish, nice crack of black pepper on the top, delicious. All right, well, I've got the red pepper parfait, it looks Delightful, doesn't it? How pretty is that? I don't really know how to eat this, actually.
but I was a bit dubious about the parfait. Obviously, it's uh, cold, but the, the red pepper is so fiery and rich, stands strong on its own, uh, yet with the goat's cheese plus the basil, even better. And Matthew likes it as well, and it's the kind of thing I can't imagine he'd ever, ever like. So, yeah, winner. If you're going to have the start of the jamon, it doesn't look like that's going to be carved table side, but here it is. So I've told Matthew I want that in our flat on the wall, but he said it's too big. Why? Wow, look at that slab Matthew's got. Beef filet. Just some horseradish for me, yeah. Thanks very much. Look Thank at you. the size so of that. Thank you, that's my best. Thank you. Matthew's beef. Mm. All right, that's really good. Charred really nicely around the outside, nice and tender. Delicious. And I've gone with the uh, rack of lamb and lamb belly. Looks delicious. It smells divine. Chunky chips. Uh, that's apparently tender stem broccoli, but that's not tender stem, is it? We know this. Lamb jus. Let's do this. Oh, that lamb jus smells amaze balls, by the way. And yes, that is a technical term, in case you're wondering. Come on, I want every single drop out of you. Lamb. Oh, it's going to drip. Oh, wow, that has great flavour. Not just the lamb itself from the jus, but it comes with a little bit of feta. You've got tabula, um, pomegranate seeds. Really, really good. So the lamb dish is, it's almost like a, a Moroccan kind of style lamb. Awesome. <laughs> Well, that was super delicious, folks. Uh, but what are we going to have for dessert? What would you have? Drop those comments below. All right, it's time for the palate cleanser. The couple next to us had the raspberry sorbet, and I was really excited. And we've got champagne sorbet, which is my least favorite type of sorbet. But let's see. Matthew thinks it's hilarious as well, because I was looking forward to that, the raspberry sorbet. <laughs> I was... <laughs> Yeah, I've got it anyway. Is it nice? I'm, 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 well, I'll be the judge of like it. Champagne sorbet, you won't like it. All right, thanks, Matthew. Very, very, Simple. very insightful. Well done. Don't get me wrong. I like champagne, and I like. Sorry, lady, ladies. I like champagne and I like sorbet. I just don't like them together. We'll see. Soapy. That is not for me. You can have mine. I don't want it. Soapy. I want the raspberry one like they had. <gasps> if you've ever eaten bubble bath, a bit like that. What do you mean you haven't eaten bubble bath? <laughs> what about when you were young and you were having your head dunked in the, the bath water by your mum or dad? No? No? Just me? I'm damaged. Right, so as beautiful as Matthew's Volrona chocolate cheesecake looks, it's shrunk in size since the last time. Oh my goodness. I've just got a tiny bit of Matthew's cheesecake because there's not much there anyway. So this has um, aged balsamic and also sour cream and poached amaretto cherries. The cherries are delicious, by the way. Really good, actually. Very rich nice dark chocolate the crumbly base very buttery it's really good it's just it's not enough be careful because on the menu it says the crepes suzette are made table side but this is not the case they're actually made in the middle of the restaurant so if you want to go and see yours being made make sure you do ask in advance so looks like we have butter first and then some sugar Oh, Contro, beautiful. So we have a shot of Contro at the ready and we have orange juice, in that goes. Oh, and the sizzle. And now the Contro. So we have lemon and orange rind now going in. There you go. In goes that pancake. Oh wow, and here comes the brandy. 
So this is boozy. Now that's sizzling away beautifully. It smells delicious. So you can see the sauce is now reducing and the, the pancake is absorbing all of that goodness. And now the flames, I think. I have moved aside. I'm ready, yeah. <laughs> Yay. Oh, we love this part. We love it. And there you go. That is crepe Suzette made by the experts. That was awesome. And it was big fire. Crepe Suzette. Pancake is a bit mushy, it's like it's overcooked. Very sharp, I like that. Um, the vanilla cuts through that nicely. Right. Coffee for the baby, Matthew. Oh, look at these petites. Sorry, what's that? Turkish delight. Oh, okay. Fine, so I'll have um, one of these. One of these. Oh, okay. Just have one of each, Matthew. No, I'll try one of the cones. Thank you. That's, That's nearly one of each. Yeah, no, I'll try one of each. Okay. Okay. Just have one of each, Matthew. Okay. 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 Ok